Werribee's Player of the Week is brought to you by The Gordon, helping people gain real skills for real jobs for over 125 years. Welcome to this week's edition of the Gordon Player of the Week, real skills, real experience for real outcomes. I'm joined by Jack Henderson, our Player of the Week this week. Hendo, how are you? Good, thanks, Hamish. That's good, good mate. Now, you, we played GWS on the weekend. For the first time, the team actually played together in four weeks. How was that experience having some time off and then coming back and uh, playing GWS? Yeah, it was um, probably something we're not, it's not too foreign to us with all the, the um, breaks throughout the last few years. So um, playing against a side we've never played against, we, um, yeah, it was an interesting one. We, we yeah, rallied together really well and um, we, we sort of had an idea of what they'd throw at us and, and yeah, we executed our skills well and at the end of the game, end of the day, we um, got the four points and yeah, couldn't be happier. Beautiful. Now you, over lockdown, managed to get home to Daniloquin. How was that? What did you get? Do, what did you do up there over the lockdown? Yeah, so um, spent a fair bit of time there last year, but yeah, caught up with some mates. Um, managed to train locally, which yeah, a lot of boys couldn't do over that break here. So yeah, um, got a game in. Um, so last weekend and yeah, had had a, had a big win over Finley, the arch rival. So yeah, very enjoyable. Now you made the Herald Sun with that performance. <laughs> How many did you kick? <laughs> Ah, uh, six. Beautiful. When yeah. was the last time you played uh, community for you before that? Um, probably for some areas in year 11. Yeah, so, yeah, back a bit. Bit, yeah. It's beautiful. It's good to get back. Lovely. So how did you find on the weekend GWS? Obviously, they were business as usual there for, a, for pretty much um, the last month. Did you find it took the team a bit to get rolling? Yeah, yeah. First, yeah, first quarter was just a... Yeah, bit of a shit show um, early and we, yeah, mid, mid got us in. We didn't really have our usual tap numbers, which was like can be expected with a few weeks off, no physical activity. And um, we nailed that after the first quarter. And yeah, we never really looked back for the rest of the day. And it was great, great win. Beautiful. Now, how have you found the transition this year from last last time you were with wherever you were playing with him, Nick Barlow, to now being coached by him? How have you found that transition? Ah. Uh, it's been great. It's sort of, yeah, at first it was, oh, it took a little bit to get used to, but everyone's got so much respect for him. And um, yeah, everyone who's playing, you sort of look, you look at him as um, that step above as a coach even then. So, um, so he's so close to us and I've just loved this, this um, first half of the year and can't wait to see what the rest of the, rest of the year holds for us. Beautiful. Now, I want to talk about, there was a lovely goal that you kicked down the Hungry Jack's end of the ground where Wiley Buzzer just tapped it down and you really went through untouched yeah. and just kicked it out. Was that something you'd scripted up or did that kind of just happenstance? Oh, well, Buzzer reckons he put on silver platter for me. Yeah. I still had a bit of work to do, but no, we work, we work on that at training and Buzzer's great like that down, down the forward line, locking a bit to Tommy Hawkins in the forward 50. So yeah, hopefully get a few more of those this week. Good player to be liking too. Yeah. So Hendo, tell me, we're talking about uh, real skills for real experience, for real outcomes. What are you studying at the moment? I'm um, studying, studying a Bachelor of Agricultural Science and Commerce. So yeah, three years, at the end of this year, three years into that and then got a year to go. Yeah. Lovely. So did you do a bit of work back home on the farm when you are up there? Yeah, dad had me working. So a um, bit of selling crops and then probably towards the end of the year we'll, we'll get in there and harvest them. So yeah, yeah. love getting back. Bit of fishing there. as well? Yeah, fishing. I can't say I caught too much. Yeah. Just, um, yeah, got, got to see a few mates, went down the river, down the Murray, so yeah, it was nice. Beautiful. And uh, North Melbourne this week, a couple of wins on the trot for them. What are you expecting to see? Yeah, um, well, I know, I know a few boys here being aligned to them. We'll be keen to run out and play against them again. So yeah, I think for the older boys at Ribbon Sods, I'll be going twice as hard as a few of their, a few of their old teammates. So um, yeah, two on the trot, um, got a bit of form, we're in form, so it'll be a good game, good game to watch. Beautiful, Hendo. All the best weekend and we'll see you next week on the Gordon Player of the Week.